to the most point and the most important point is is changes this um new moon in Aries is going to release a lot of stuff a lot of people are going to be having these surprises things that are happening to them you're going to be feeling different you're going to be um it's as if consciousness the wake awakening as consciousness especially if you um are always outside and that sort of a thing you your energy vibration is going to be changing because um the energy of the sun and the energy of the ray of the sun and all of this um the the, the frequency of the energies because then you feel the heartbeat of the hurt okay going through your 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 energy vibration and um as i've been looking and i've been um studying the month and i do them in a graphic um in in, in graphic to see the energy of the month and it's as it's, 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 it's if this month was a light blue aquamarine which is a more healing now as we go in may may is going to be an healing with prosperity okay may is always one of those lucky lucky months i've always said if i wanted to, if, if i was not born in the month that i was born in may would be one of those positive months that i would want to born in, be born in because may is like the may is the harvesting of abundance and if you um study the world and study certain things about the world may it's, 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 it's like a time when taxes and, and that sort of a relief that come in. So it's um, a financial, uh, it's a month where a lot of financial energy, money flows in May. It's as if May, money flows. Okay, so it's as if January, you know, it's a bit in February and March, you kind of get it back on track. But May begin everything to flow. And then June, July, August, you're like, oh abundancy so uh, it's that sort of a thing so this month is um, of April is sort of a healing month and May is going to be a, 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 an healing month but um, abundancy um, financial abundancy will be taking place so um, like for the earth sign people this is just powerful earth and air sign people for the month of May it's just gonna be very very much powerful April is really, really, really a harsh month. And I guess why is this so harsh? It's going to be harsh for a lot of people. Some people are going to be like the Aries and that. And, 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 and the Aries, Leo and Saji are going to have a good month in the month of April. But like for the hurt sign people, the water sign people, it's air sign people. It's not going to be one of those promising months because you guys can feel it from this because the last two weeks, the first week and the second week of April, oh my God, I could feel the energies. I could feel the hate in the people. I could feel, you know, that sort of a thing. And, 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 and then you're wondering, you know, okay, the shift is happening and and then I can feel that shift happening, especially when I'm outside, and the way that people, basically, um, the way that people basically comes up and how they react, and a lot of enemies are going to be coming out of the woodwork. Okay, a lot of enemies are going to be coming out of the woodwork, and it's 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 really so strange because. Some people are going to find out that people who you thought had your back, oh my God, you will not realize and expect what they have been, you know, how they, the, their thought patterns about you and that sort of a thing. It's going to be very surprising for a lot of people, but this is it. You have to understand that you can't make someone be who they're not, okay? Because if you are someone who are very positive, very the energy and the positiveness of who you are and that you can let that vibrate out on other people or, um, you know, depends on who you are, you, whatever energy vibration is, it's, it's, it's as if your aura, um, have the sort of a color. It's like a lady said to me, I can never see your, your horror. Sometimes I can't see your horror. And sometimes people will see like in my video, the blue light coming across. And that is the orbs of Archangel Michael. 
and, and, and that's a protective angel, especially if I call upon them um, when I'm doing a reading. But the thing about it is that it depends on who you are. I can close off myself and my aura, basically that you can't see and know. But my expression is the thing that you're always seeing my expression on my face. And this is what everyone is basically having at this moment because the transition and the frequency of this planet is opening up a lot of people. And it is good to call upon the universal angels and your mighty I am selves to open up your blueprint because by opening up your blueprint, you're going to be able to understand yourself and understand the transition that is going through. Um, this, um, this, this uh, moon in um, Aries is going to be um, one that a lot of people are not going to be forgetting, okay? And this is because um, we need to be aware of who we are. This is we're not we're not accepting who we are. We're not aware of who we are. We don't want to be um, aware of what is happening because we have been wearing this blindfold for so many years, thousands of years, millions of years, and some people just don't want to be awakened. It's up to you, each and every person, because this is a planet of free will. If you don't want to be aware of who you are, it's okay. But if your heart is pure and clean, you will also vibrate with positive energies. And once you give out positive energies, your ascension process is going to be um, very, very um, positive. So a lot of people are like, I need to get this going and I need to get that going. You have to understand that you have... Um, write a script how you're about to make this transition in your life. So um, some people are saying, oh, I wish I was like you. Trust me, people, you don't want to wish that because um, I have gone through so much things in my life. And I, I, I guess that is what um, it's all about, all about um, lessons, um, healing and um and, 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 and making this true to learn about uncondition, unconditional love, okay? Because if I ha did not have and vibrate on a fourth dimension frequency, I could not have dealt with what I've dealt with my entire life. It's because I have learned and changed um, the ego, I have released myself from the ego. Do I have it sometimes? Yes. Sometimes the ego comes in and sometimes I have to be, okay, stop now. And once you are aware of when it's time to let go of a situation, um, and once you once you are, have an understanding of who you are and once you decide, okay, I can release myself of this situation, okay? And one of the, uh, the most wonderful tools that I have um, designed is whenever you meet someone, ask yourself, what is my karmatic situation with this person, okay? And basically, you will receive the answers. Whether you receive the answers right away or you receive your answers in a dream or you receive your answers, whatever way you receive the answers, then you will know. Um, there is like an example. Um, I met someone and the person was being extremely, extremely nice to me. And I was like, okay. All right, brace yourself because what is coming, it's not going to be nice. And um, yeah, so it's a tool um, you can do for yourself. Whenever you meet someone, some people have the feelings directly that this person come in my life or something or what is this karmatic situation? Who are you? Why are you here? And um, when there is someone who is who you have shared a lifetime before, so um, 
it's as if you have gone to a party, you're in the middle of the party, and your eyes connect with someone that is someone who you have known for a lifetime and lifetime before. And this person is going to come in your life. Okay, so that's directly the connection. Okay, the eyes is um, the door to the soul. Okay. Um, there are people that you will meet and um, you're having a conversation with them and you're looking at each other's eyes and then you begin to gobble jumble or whatever it is. It does happen, people. And um, it does happen, but it's someone who you connect on a soul, um, on really a soul connection. And it's as if this person... It's not this person is not vibrating on the higher vibration, and then the other person kind of pick up on that and decided, you know, we are connected. Um, whatever it is, whatever that you have to do with someone else, or you know, it is as if men who lies, okay, and the ladies who um, know what it is with intuition, your husband. Okay, Colin said he's going to be late. And then he walks through the door and there, poof, there's a smell of perfume on him. And you're thinking, really? <laughs> you know, that sort of a thing. Some people will get in um, as if you lie and blah, blah. No, don't do that. Why? I mean, you're at home. You live with him. Yeah, I understand that. But that is a form of jealousy. That is a little green monster. Look, marriage, and if you're living with someone, you don't home that person, okay? It's not nice to say, but I'm telling you, the only person that you own is yourself. You don't own your child. You don't own your husband. Everyone on this planet has free will, Okay. And a lot of people will say, yeah, but yeah, I, I said, I have a relationship, a open relationship. I tell my partner everything. I have no secrets. People do not understand that. And they're thinking, open relationship, because I lived in a, con a culture for 20 years that people live totally different. And coming home, it's like a different because I, I basically have both cultures in me because I've lived in a country for 20 years and, and that's it. But I see a relationship. I can't be a owner of someone else. I can't even own my son because my son is an adult. I can't um, um, dictate to my son what he should do. And I think if, 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 like a lot of people say, how come you look so young? And that's, uh, I look young and I'm young. I look this way because I don't stress myself out about controlling my partner or controlling other people that is what makes people look older because you're always thinking how am I going to be able to control this person if you marry to this person listen people if you marry to someone and you give them room and space they won't cheat with you they own they won't cheat on you because you give them the room and space they will realize that that is the woman of my life or that is the man of my life because he gave me room and space. I'm not going to take advantage of these situations, okay? So relationships are very, very complex and we have to understand why is it relationship are so complex. It's because we're trying to um, hold on to someone, change someone, and make someone be. And most people walk around with a mask. I don't walk around with a mask because I can be um, someone who I'm plain and straight. I'm. This is it. I'm. I'm. I'm going to be plain and straight with you. And, and this is it with my readings also. Because sometimes some someone said yes, but you saw something, but you didn't say it. And I'm thinking because sometimes I'm there and. The, the, because the cards are a tool, the cards are a tool, and this is what people do not understand. The cards are a tool, and they give certain information, but the channeling and the information actually comes from your spirit guides. So I could be seeing something, and I'm like, hmm, 
Um, and, and then I have to ask them, is this for the reading or the, is this something for myself? Because maybe something else is happening that is connecting with the reading about my private life or that sort of a thing. Then I'm not going to say that because maybe it makes somebody out there um, becomes afraid or um, going to expect something. So um, it's, 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 yeah, I can't explain. You have to be a, a channeler or a reader to understand these sort of things. So people are, are, you know, like my friends and that sort of a thing. And they go, do you read me? No, I don't read people. No, I basically hold, I, I block myself because it's a gift. And if I overuse, because a lot of people do not understand that, because, and this is why a lot of people lose their, their gifts of psychic gifts, because they use it for their private thing. It's like a lot of people have made, can you tell me if the numbers for the lottery and the winning numbers for the lottery? No, I can't do that because it's overriding my gift and my gift will be t taken away if I use it for private things. Okay. Like these sort of a thing. Your angels and guides always want to surprise you, okay? So they will, I because I'm always saying, uh, because the lottery or buying the lottery, it doesn't mean to, matter whatever way you, you want to buy it because the lottery is a universal. And if you realize, all countries have lottery because it's a universe of everyone putting an amount of money in a pot that you can win. Is it? that you're lucky to win it or is it that your guides and angel think that okay this person deserve it because they they can use it to do something else okay so this is how it works and this is why i think i'm like one of those people the only person who says buy the lottery you know this is good because the wheel of fortune and number eight because that is what i get people think that spirituality is um, a form of Christianity no it's not it's totally different because um, Christianity is that they pretend to be who they're not spirituality is that you respect the fact of who people are and you there's non-judgmental and you go by the laws the universal laws which I have on the website the 33 universal laws and I think if a lot of people read that and understand what it is then you will change your the energy of your consciousness so uh, you know and, and people are no I don't I, I in my normal life I basically don't read people I just can meet someone and know directly whoa okay I don't need to deal with you I don't know what is the reason why um, I've met you so obviously we have um, obviously we have um, uh, a, a karmatic situation that we have to deal with okay and that's it and then I will basically um, 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 and take myself back because like for a couple of months I have been um, keeping um, alone keeping myself I have like um, my son and like my family members and one friend, one person, I don't know if it's a friend or whatever, but I can basically, um, you know, connect with that person and I will see them like once in a while or we speak or that sort of a thing. But I don't read people because I think it's this, um, it's disrespectful. I read people who pays me to read them. I'm not going to read you um, because I want to know what you're up to. No, I think it's very, very disrespectful. And not only that, you are thought um, through spirituality and through your angel and guides that there are certain things that you're not supposed to do because it's a gift what we have acquired. And the gift is from the universe and they can take it back whenever they want to okay so it's as if like a lot of people and I remember before I um, I remember this was in Europe before I even started um, thinking ever um, my girlfriend took me to this lady and um, the slave was there and she was and she says you know this is the work that you should be doing and I'm like hell no <laughs> And she said, 
no, this is the work you should be doing. I'm like, no way, I've never read cards. I don't even know how. And she said, yes. And um, basically, um, you know, I was like, yeah, whatever. But as time went on and then uh, I, I, I seems to be, it's, it's, it's as if a shift of consciousness. It's as if I was ready. Because whenever you reach the age of 40, it's as if a totally shift. Because there's a certain age that you should think. 20, 30, 33, um, 40, 40, um, 2, and 45. They, these are times in your life where shift of conscious it's as if 30 all women wants to have kids men wants to get women pregnant and that sort of a thing and um and then um it, it's, it's a time that you 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 start to change there's a shift of consciousness with you at that time and the other thing is that people need to understand that the gift and what we do, it is not easy because whenever I do 13 readings, I'm just totally, totally tired because it's a constantly like someone leave. Could you please not having that, that, that accent? Because I can't understand what you're saying, but it's not me. It's that I'm channeling information and it depends on who wants to bring out that information to channel that information. Cause I, I speak, um, um, in my normal life, I speak, you know, like this, but sometimes I have to, and, and sometimes I'm not even aware until I'm reading the stuff and they're going, please don't use that accent because I can't understand you. <laughs> so, you know, that sort of a thing. So understanding what is happening to you, it is a very, very important thing. Understanding the changes that is trans and understanding why relationships are coming to an end, understanding what you're going through, all these things, these tragedy. It's not tragedy. It's something that you have um, worked out with someone. Understanding why marriages are not working. It's because, um, and, and this is a situation that I think um, each and every person has a soulmate, okay? Um, a twin flame is a totally different thing. A twin flame is someone who is opposite to you. Okay. You both can have the same energy vibration. You both think the same way. You both feel the same way. You both think about things the same way. And it's as, as if it's your twin. You have a sacred connection with that person. Um, if that person is not okay, you will know it because you will feel as if you're disconnected from that person. Okay, it's that sort of a thing. Um, I remember um, there's someone who I've met, and I, and, I, and, and, and I remember, and I said to the person, why were you in my dream? Or why are you connecting with me in my dream? And the person started to laugh. Yes, because um, um, it, we are coming to a time because of the shift of consciousness on this planet. A lot of people are being awake and a lot of people are learning things that they can do. You need to do it, um, but be respectable of other people's space and time. It's not that you should constantly, um, you know, you like someone, but you're constantly in, you know, thinking about them. Because the thing about it is that if you realize you think about your mom and your mom call you, that means that you have a connection with this person. And sometimes you have a girlfriend or um, your brothers or sisters and you think about them and then they call you or you feel as if something isn't right and you call your brother or your sister and then you, you know, receive a message that's something. And, and that's the sort of thing that is constantly more and more. This is going to be happening in the planet because a lot of people... Um, gifts are awakened. Um, psychic gifts are not the only gifts that people have. People have gifts of healing with the hands. 
people have so many gifts of healing with energy people have gifts of um, um, and helping people to transit from um, one side of a planet to another and energy vibration and that sort of a thing but use it in a positive way and only if someone asks you and pay you because this is what people are saying should I ask for money for um, my gifts yes because you got your gifts your gifts is like your divine career okay this is what people should understand with gifts it's like your divine career this that, that is what um, you were gifted to do to help other people so your gift is like divine career so I don't use my gift to um, uh, uh, so you can't use your gift because of for personal reasons and that sort of a thing because if you speak to most light workers or in most way shows as we are called is that we have hard we go through a lot of hardship. Even if, if you see people are there reading, it's because they've gone through so many hardship in their lives, and it brings them to a place of unconditional love. That from what they have gone through, they're helping other people um, through their situation. And this is what we are. We are so we most of the people, and not all of them, because some of some people just do it for money and some people just don't understand but going back to this lady who I went to and you know she said that but my thing with her was that she couldn't she couldn't connect with me she couldn't see like certain things she saw like um, and, and it was sometimes like my guides and angels will show her certain things and then one day she um, I don't remember what it was and she says, um, yeah, and, and, and I was like, I'm sorry, but that's not true. Um, that I don't know what or who you're reading at this moment. But I have to. And so different things for different folks, okay? And I think some people really do have the gift. But it is um, who you connect with, who you feel aligned with, and that is the most important thing. You have to feel aligned with someone. If you do not feel the connection and, and the alignment, um, then it's not the person for you. Okay, so this is the sort of a thing and how it works. Um, so a lot of people and I've realized that a lot of people have so many questions a lot of people are not sure why they feel so disconnected from this planet so disconnected from people a lot of people are going through the situations do not get in depressed if you feel as if you're getting depressed you need to get yourself out of depression take vitamin B tablets B12 is good to um, move you out of depression. It is a time that a lot of people are going to be feeling depressed because of certain things that is transpire in your life. When you're feeling the point and depression, you need to move yourself. You need to go out and walk, run, whatever that does it for you um, to get you up. But vitamin E and sunlight is really nice. Do not lock up. Do not close your window and be in the dark. You need to have light, okay? If you can't get outside, ask the universal angels and the sun to place positive energy and the sun to radiate in your energy vibration. And all of a sudden, you're going to feel the shift of energy that you're going to go, go through. So some people can go through now a time of depression, okay? Some people are going to be um, going through a thing where you feel as if you want to get out. Out. you know some people who are in marriages are gonna feel as if I'm feeling as if I'm in bondage I need to breathe some people are going to be feeling as if their partners are choking them and they want to get out they want to connect you know that sort of a thing but and and, and this is the reason why this that marriage comes up again is, is that um, if you're going to be in a, a marriage and a relationship that you have to know where your partner is 24 hours a day, then that is not a healthy marriage because, and some people are going to say, yes, you can say anything because you don't have a partner. Honey, listen, I love you guys, but ladies, we have intuition, okay? We listen to our intuition and we can feel it, okay? 
And if you feel as if, oh, my partner is always, let your partner be the one who texts you or who say, hey, baby, are you okay? Or that sort of a thing. If you are going to be deciding that you're holding on on this man and no other woman is going to come, that is when a woman is going to come in because that is what you're asking the universe to bring in to you. You know, this is, this is it. If you free yourself and said, this is my partner, I don't own him. He is my, he is my provider and he's the child, the, the father of my child or the mother of my child. And you are both are going to handle each other with respect and give them the, the breeding space. Because I think, um, the breeding space is very important. And I think that's why a lot of men cheats or a lot of people cheats is because they don't have breathing space is because they have to be home at certain time they have to be 24 hours there for if you want to text and you want to talk i don't want to talk to my partner 24 hours come on people you need to know who you are you need to connect with yourself okay if someone is going to be blinging me 24 seven and that sort of a thing. No, I am. I feel as if I am just, you know, don't, 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 you know, that sort of a thing. And this is how people feel. And people do not speak about these sort of things before they get married. And that's why people marriage fails. People marriage fails. And it's not because it's fail. It's because there are certain situations that you need to speak about. You need to communicate what it is that you like and what it is that you don't like. For example, if you're meeting someone for the first time, you feel a connection and you know everything, you know, ask what is your likes? What is your things? What do you like? What don't you like? I mean, a lot of people don't even know what it is, what it is um, to connect on a sexual basis because people think that sex is just... Uh, um, people think that sex is just commercial, but it's actually not. It is, um, um, and when you find the right partner, um, you will realize that it's something that is spiritual. It's something that you connect on such a high level. It's as if there are some people who say, oh my God, girl, he took me to cloud nine and back. Okay. That, that is it. If someone is going to be taking you to cloud nine, cloud nine is like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, nine, then that is the person. Okay. Some people can have this in only, um, sexual connection. Some people can have this, um, with their husband, some partner, whenever you find that partner that can bring you to that level, then you know, you have the right person. So there was, I think it was last year, October, there was a thing on the radio that um, this guy was saying, oh, this guy said that he can come um, four or five times or eight times or 12 times in the evening or whatever. And he goes, no, I don't believe that. He must be on some drugs. No. If you know what is Kama Sutra, if you know the techniques of having sex, yes, you can. And this is, is that's why I, I'm always laughing at these things because some people are not aware of Kama Sutra and some people have not um, learned the connection of what is sex. Um, so they keep their partners alive because men get bored. Men automatically get bored if you are doing the same thing the same time. This is why men go out and cheat. Men likes a woman in the day and a bitch at night. You know, that that's men. Men, men likes variety. Men wants to be um, held. You know, men wants to be seduced. Men wants to be seductive. And this is why a lot of people, marriage fails and a lot of people do not understand. If you think after you get that ring and you said, I do, that's rosy cotton vodka because I can now walk around in my sports clothes. And I, no, men likes, men, I'm sorry, men, men likes, you know, sometimes they come home and you know, you're hitting it. That's what men like. Another thing that, um, 
I, and, and why I was laughing, I have a very good friend of mine in, in Holland. And I remember he came over one day and he goes, he looks at me and he says, Kate, really? And I'm like, what? And he goes, can't you put on something? I said, listen to me. You call me without coming over. You're my best friend. Why is it that I should go put on something sexy for you? I'm not attracted to you. And I hope that you're not attracted to me. So, um, um, and I was just in my sweatsuit because I do my sweatsuit. So I'm not going to put on and be sexy for my best friend. And my, I'm like... You know, so that's the sort of a thing that I'm saying. Women, your men cheat and your men go outside. So, so, okay, okay, okay. Let's be very understanding. Men are like puppies, okay? Men like variety of things. You know, men, men likes to, um, men likes to be freaky because there's a lot of men who um, goes out of the marriage because they want something that their partner isn't giving them. And this is the thing about it is that if you decide to marry, marry is a marriage is something that is very important because you have to cater not only for yourself, but make sure that you're catering for your partner to keep your, keep the marriage and keep your partner being more um, attractive to you. And then He's not going to look outside. And if he looks outside, now he's just, you know, you know, but it's, it's, it's your thing. But this is the reason why men cheat. Why women cheat is because um, they're not um, whatever they, their sexual appetite or whatever they want in a man, he's not giving them. Because in the beginning, you did not ask. How would it, what, you know, how is it? How, how do you see a marriage um, 10, 20 years if we are married? You know, what do we expect in a marriage? Uh, in, 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 you know, in a relationship being together. And this is it. And sometimes I always wonder, is it that I don't think that I would be able to focus on what I have to do and focus on a marriage at the same time? And maybe this is it, maybe not. But I basically think that women who complains, you know, that my husband cheated on me or something like that, you have never spoken direct and explicit and asked what it is that your partner like. And this is very important. The next relationship you're going to go in, ask your par partner and be um, candidly open to your partner what it is that I um, basically once okay what is it how do I see my life going forward with you I don't want after we have kids then you're so tired that our sex life is on the side and that sort of a thing that is not what you want because your marriage won't survive it okay so um, this a lot of changes a lot of people are going to be um, divorce in a lot of relationships are going to go to an end. And sometimes I can read um, my um, read what is on the channel and I'm, I'm thinking, oh my God. Oh, and, and I'm always saying, honey, listen, there's someone better out there. Trust me, each and every person on this planet, if you had a contract that the love of your life, you will meet the love of your life and you yearn for the love of your life, then you will meet this person. Okay. So, and this is why there's a lot of dating sites and, 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 and especially the people who collect information to, to put people together. It's because they know exactly what the other person is looking for. And this is why they can connect people together. So, and everything works like that, basically. So, um, it's, it's, it's the energy of relationship, the vibration energy of relationship is just going to be shifting. It's going to be shifting. Um, and, 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 you know, I've lived in Europe for uh, so many years and, um, I basically connect with the way that people live because we are not pressured into getting married. And that's, 
very important because we can live a lifetime together and we're not really pressured of getting married we can sign a contract that we are living together and that's just about it and I think this is um, basically I feel so connected um, to a lot of that because I understand because people know that they're not going to be forever if you're if you if, if you're together then it's okay there's um, a, another thing that I need to touch on a point. Some people have it in their um, soul contract because it's a soul contract. We, we, we go in relationship because we have soul contract with people, whether short, whether overnight, whether one night stand, whatever it is. People go in soul contract and this is what we do. Relationship is a soul contract. Um, your family, kids coming into your life, it's a soul contract that you sign with someone else. Okay. There are people who are saying, um, like they get, they can't engage for a very long time. Seriously? Lady, listen. If you... Um, are proposed to, and it's five years, and you're not married, get the... Get out of it. Okay? Because... After five years, that person, it's like they're holding you on a string, okay? If someone engaged you and it's five years and they haven't married, decide for yourself to move on because that person is holding you on a string, okay? A lot of people said, what do you think about people who have marital affair? Okay, I... I really had like certain things. I did a video that I was very, but you know, as time goes by, this is what I'm seeing. I think I am like one of the luckiest person on this planet. And why is it is that I am free. I, you, I, I use my free will. I am free. I don't need to be marry I don't need to will would I want to be married yes if I meet the man of my dreams and he says let's get married you know yes but I have to know that that's the opposite of me he knows exactly he knows that maybe I will change my mind tomorrow he knows but this is the situation is that when people married for different reason for to, to, to have status um, to be married for be, because they want to be um, in a in a sort of a, a society status and people want to uh, feel good about themselves why they get married. I don't have any of that. I feel good with myself. If even I've gained twenty pounds or forty pounds like I have, I still feel comfortable with myself. I, I just said, listen, I have to lose this weight. So okay, I'm not going to eat this anymore. I'm not going to eat that anymore. But if you're not feeling comfortable with yourself, then you have that feelings to be connected with someone and that feelings that you have to get married and that feelings that, you know, if I don't get married, I will, I, people are not going to be looking at me. I really don't care about someone, how they think, what they think about me because I'm, I'm not married. I, it doesn't really bother me. All I'm saying is that, um, would I? Yes, but um, it depends, okay? It has to be someone who really knows my quirks and my thing and that when I wake up in the morning, I don't want anyone to speak to me and that after my coffee and having my music up, then I'm awake and my quirkiness of, uh, you know, whatever it is. And this is what people do not um, realize why certain things do not happen because number one I, I you know I've always said to people um, if I'm gonna get in, 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 in a relationship with someone I said listen I can't cook so um, you know I can't cook <laughs> and then I remember I was working someplace and um, my boss said and I go I don't cook I don't cook because um, I can't 
because it's not one of the things I think I was gifted to do. And um, I don't want to cook. And then someone is going to be, mm, uh, you know, that sort of a thing. So um, this is it. I'm very candid of myself. I can, I can laugh at myself. I'm very candid at myself. And some people just think that I'm stuck up. But I'm not really stuck up. I, I can be very candid of myself. I can, you know, speak very candid of myself. But the thing about it is that when you're comfortable enough to speak candid of yourself, to understand who you are, that you're just someone who is in a body trying to have an earth experience. Okay, we're not here for long. We're we're here for a time. Some of us can live a lifetime. Some of us cannot live a lifetime. But this is it. We just have to accept each and every little quirks that we have. And when we accept the little quirks and the little stupidness and the little ways that we are, then we are, are, are able to accept someone else with the same things. And then that is a perfect marriage because you know what you have and your partner like the little stupid things that you do. And, um, and then, you know, that's how you can connect with yourself. So basically, um, these are the changes that is going to be coming up and, you know, do not be surprised because a lot of people are sad and everything when, um, they, they, you know, like their partner said, you know, I don't want to, um, uh, you know, I, I feel that, you know, it's just better that we divorce or I feel that it's better that we separate. It is just that the soul contract that you have has ended and maybe, um, you have seen it because a lot of times when relationships are going to be ending, you feel it, you see it, you know, women or no women because men are watching this, you feel it and you see it. And this is it. I don't want to hurt someone. I basically don't like hurting people because I feel really bad. And, and <laughs> I don't know, I feel like really bad and really sad. And I have to find a way to say to the person, I'm sorry. Um, maybe I said something that was wrong. And this is me because I have, I have like a big mouth, but a very small heart because I don't like hurting people basically because I, 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 I've always thought, you know, I want to, you know, however way I wanted to be treated with respect, but I find these people like hating. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have a bone of eight. I don't know what is eight. I just know that my energy vibration and your energy vibration just, you know, there is, there is, you know, like, a, and um, and then I just, I just take, um, you know, I just keep my distance. Okay. But, um, there are other people who is, you know, they basically think that I think that, um, you know, the way I am is that I, I separate myself because I think, but that's not it. I just don't want to create any more karmas. I just don't want to get in a situation. There are people who I let in my life for a certain reason because I, I like, I can feel certain things, um, by with people, and you know, I have this strange connection that I have with, um, and and um, what will you call that now, um, where you know. We, 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 we kind of understand each other. We don't see each other that often, but then if we don't call each other and that sort of a thing, we understand that, you know, we're busy and, 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 um, but it does say that, um, whatever that bring, um, the connection between two people is that we need to respect and give each other space. And I remember that, um, when we met, it was, and I was like, you're kind of strange. Why, why would, it? And, 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 the, and then I'm like, oh my God, but basically I'm the same, same way. I am, I'm not always, I don't want to, I can call someone and that sort of a thing. But at this moment, it's as if I'm going through a shift of consciousness for myself. It's as if, um, what is happening is that a lot of people seems to, um, be connecting with themselves and it's as if 
Um, they need, it's as if it's an healing. You're going through an healing and you have to be with yourself to be going through this healing. And it's as if you don't want anyone in your space at this moment because you're going through this healing and people will go to work and come home and that sort of a thing. But they're like on a conscious level. It's like they're, they're going through a shift of consciousness and they're going through healing and they're realizing that they're feeling different because they're seeing certain things that is happening and they're actually going through a consciousness shift and this is what is basically happening to a lot of people on this planet so you know if your girlfriend does a call anymore or someone you know blocked you or don't have connection with you or people at this moment are going in a sort of a cocoon and that cocoon they're going in to heal themselves and to understand what is happening um, a lot of people seems to be disconnecting because they need to reconnect with themselves so don't judge people whatever is happening do not judge people because um, the situation and whatever is happening is that people need um, to connect with themselves and um, people are judging each other and you need not to judge because people needs to go through their own healing their own evolution their own shift of consciousness and whenever it's time for them to come out they will connect and reconnect okay so this is what is happening for a lot of people on this planet at this moment so you have to understand the shift of consciousness that is happening okay um, this is a very long video um, and so um, I guess this is what was supposed to come out for um, um, the um, uh, the uh, April new moon so it's basically a shift of consciousness that is going to um, transpire um, the other point that I should touch on is that a lot of people are going to realize that um, you know you're connecting with people and you're you're meeting people who you're feeling so connected with and then they appear and then they disappear out of your life and then you try to kind of reconnect with them and then they don't want to reconnect with you because they only came in um, to deliver a message or to let you see something about yourself okay so um, a lot of that has been going on that you will meet someone and then you connect with that person then all of a sudden you um, move, remove yourself and sometimes it's not really that there is something but sometimes it's that you just came in to give a message and then you actually just remove yourself from that and that that sort of a thing so not be alarmed about this and this is positive this is in a positive um, a sense that sometimes people just comes in to deliver a message and then they will um, uh, leave your life okay so not to worry about that ladies 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 um, the shift of consciousness and also for um, the the men who are vibrating with much more feminine energies um, the femininity um, is what is bringing us um, through ascension okay because ascension um, the femininity is what is this hurt unconditional love and the, the feminine energy that is what is bringing this shift of consciousness on this planet at this time so you will realize that a lot of you men if you're if you haven't said that you feel more uh, feminine um, you're going to be feeling that and some of you are going to be coming out with this and kudos to you I think you I think you know I have great respect for you guys and I know what it is like it is like you've been trapped in something and you can't be yourself and I think this is when people should respect you guys and to come out and be who you are or you women who feel um, the masculine energies more masculine energies than feminine energies and you feel trapped your entire life it's time for you to come out and be who you want to be because this is all this is what it's all about it's all about you um, people being themselves okay it's all about you um, being who you have write your scripts and write your movies about and I think the rest of the people on this planet need to respect you and if you can't 
have unconditional love for your child because your child was born a female but yet still he feel as if he has he or she has more masculine energies then look at yourself deeply because it doesn't matter who you are you gave birth or you are a parent to this person but you don't own them and they have the right to be who they want to be I love you all but we need to respect each and every person and we need to respect ourselves and respect other people we can't um, say what other people are feeling so we just can't judge other people I want to say to you guys I love you all thank you for the huge support that you guys have been given me and the wonderful uh, you know you have sent me so many positive energies and thank you um, for supporting my channel and I am hoping hoping for each and every person that you can connect with yourself and um, and start to love yourself again because that is what you need to do namaste